This is the one we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. 250,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, guys, today we're going on a rescue mission to save one of our own. This is a really funny story, actually. Hans headed up the canyon early this morning because he was coming up here to prepare the, the way that we were going to choose the winner for the 250,000 subscriber giveaway. Because guess what? Hey, Alec, what did we do? We hit 250,000 subscribers. 250K. 250,000 subscribers! Whole gang's here, minus Hans, who is all the way up that canyon road, stuck as sh apparently. I got a text that he slid off the road in the drift. So. The big exciting part of today is what I'm about to show you. You guys ready for this? I wasn't gonna show you this yet. I was saving this for a completely different video, but I feel like now is the time. Add it up, add it up, the Traptor. Traptor? The Track Raptor, the Tractor. What do you call it, the Traptor? Raptor. The Traptor, the Traptor, Traptor Keeper. Keeper. Yes, oh! yes! We both just said Trapper Keeper. I got a set of tracks for my Raptor. First of all, we don't even know where he's at. He's between here and the cabin, which is roughly 10 miles. And it's deep and deep. So, sit off the road. So we need something with a little bit more pulling strength. My plan today is to use this bad boy right here. I've not shown you guys much winch work yet. So I feel like today is a great opportunity to show you how we run winches. Everybody's got their own ways of doing it. Um, I've got mine and this Smitty built uh, winch. I think it's like a 12,000 pounder, maybe 15, I can't remember. Um, but it's a badass winch. Like it works really well. It's got a synthetic rope. This thing does absolute work. In fact, I'm going to insert a picture right here of when we use this winch to drag my Raptor up the side of a building straight up. This thing works really well. I hope it still works after that. Actually, I haven't ran it since then, but here's the deal guys. We're going to save one of our own. We can't leave a man up there to die, especially since he was going up there to help us pick the winner for the 250,000 subscriber giveaway. So in this video, you guys will find out who the winners we just basically took our whole list of subscribers we got it narrowed down to like 500 names and well the technique that we were going to use to choose the winner i think is no longer going to work but i promise you it's going to be entertaining party time let's go man this guy might not be making it up the road's pretty slick today boys listen we just barely got the Raptor up the hill. We can't even get the four-wheeler up the hill. The road is that slick, but it's not like we're gonna leave hands to die up on top of the mountain. So we're gonna have to floor it and hope for the best. Hope that we get up and over this ice sheet. They keep sending us right back down to the pit. You should have seen Heavy D. He did some fast and furious moves, man. He did a 180 sliding backwards at like probably 30 miles an hour on this slick road between two sheer canyon walls. That man is impressive. Did you? <laughs> All right, uh, we're about a mile up the canyon right now, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the track system. Tracks work really, really well in the snow, but tracks don't work very well on the ice. Bro, did you see that? Bro, that was the coolest move I've ever seen you do. Unfortunately, I don't think we caught it on camera, but the, the lower track was a figure skater. it really was. The lower canyon road is all basically in the shade all I've the time, never seen so that it ice. is sheer ice, like a, like a straight sheet of ice and it's out on an incline. I've, I've honestly, like Dave said, never seen it that bad in my entire life. I've been coming up here for a long time. So I was watching Dave go in front of me and the tracks on this thing were just spinning everywhere and they were just kind of like fishtailing out. And then the tracks on the Raptor started to try to spin a little bit. And then all of a sudden it just completely broke loose. My tracks were spinning forward and I started sliding backwards. So I tapped the brakes and then it just locked up and started sliding board backwards faster. Yep. So my only really, option- Really fast, he's going like 30 backwards. It was fast. And one side of the road is like a nice little 50 foot cliff into a creek. And then the right side of the road is the, the mountainside. Okay. So I flipped it, I threw it in reverse, cranked the wheel into the hillside to try to just basically hope to land in the hill rather than off the road. The smoothest 180 you ever seen. I'll show you the tracks. Straight backwards on the pavement. It was, I slid for probably a hundred yards or more bounced into the wall, spun around like this, and just ended up facing downhill perfectly. And uh, I'd like to say it was driving skills, but I think it was a lot of luck I'm gonna too. I'm going to say skills. Yeah, well. What B and Murphy did was all luck, because we were slowly going behind you the second time, making sure you made it up. And then we broke loose. Oh yeah. And we just slid towards the edge. I was like, Murphy, don't jump. Don't jump. 
Murphy, <laughs> Murphy bails. Yeah, you know, I, I can feel me want the bail. Jim and I almost died right there. Right there? Three winters ago in the tow truck. Tow truck did the same thing. Started coming off the edge and somehow caught the mountainside again. Oh, that geez. spot, I need to remember in the winter time, needs Freaking to be salt. salted. Lots but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to order some more spikes, some carbide spikes for the tracks on all these machines. <laughs> powder looking for tracks gotta find hands there's a few tracks here and there but nothing that matched that Polaris razor so we gotta keep looking because Hans is out there in the cold and he's just a frail little boy probably freezing to death hopefully you got probably some blue snacks. well we brought him snacks but first we gotta find hands okay. I was wanting to meet the rock I didn't think it'd be like this though Man, didn't you say you wanted to meet the rock? Oh, exactly. Let me let me introduce you to the rock. Oh, that's yeah. that's the rock's little brother. That's yeah. stone. Stone? Yeah. Mm. You know they were supposed to be saving hands, right? Yeah. Well, I wanted you to test out the winch, make sure it works. That makes sense. This is pretty much here's here's what's going to happen right now. Hands is still nowhere to be seen, and we're already starting to get stuck. I mean, granted, he's high set around some rocks, so just this is usually how our adventures turn out. We go to save somebody. And then we end up being the ones that have to be saved, and then we end up saving. It's just kind of like a, you know, it's like a the pay it forward thing. Spinny Bill Winch has come a long way. So they got this handle, it's like super, super nice. Looks got a flashlight on it. Bam. Also, this is like my favorite part. It's got magnet magnets on it, so you don't freaking lose it. Pretty nice. Ready? Go faster. It's getting closer. No way we passed. There's still tracks. I can't believe you made it higher than this. I've seen tracks that are like probably a couple days old, and then maybe two sets of tracks today. But it's gotta be just. I just don't understand how he made this far on stock tires. No kidding. We know how hands drive. Probably tried to go off road. has a bag of donuts with him that's what he's surviving on I just don't know whether he chose crumb donuts powder donuts or chocolate donuts I'll bet hands I'll bet hands is a powder donut guy me personally I think I'm a crumb donut guy what about you put in the comments below are you crumb donut powder donut or chocolate donut where is that guy yelling for him. There's some more tracks. I'm just shocked that he made it this far. I, I was expecting to see him way, way back down lower. Sprint. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> wanna... <laughs> <laughs> wanna know, wanna know how I know where Hans is? <laughs> the peel out marks of the dirt, and then I'm pretty sure there's spray paint. 
Where do we get orange spray paint? Bottled up to do the winter uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> No way! <laughs> <laughs> Did you really oh, write, write help in the snow? <laughs> it's actually a good thing because I wasn't able to look up. Oh, jeez! What happened, bud? Do you want to talk about it or do you want to... Let me catch my breath. How long have you been here? Probably like two or three hours. So one text, that's all you're gonna give me? That's all, my phone died. Problem is, I shouldn't have said it to you, I should have said it, well, he wouldn't have answered, hey. Garrett. No, me? I, I would have answered? He would have answered, I don't know if it would have been today, but he would have got around to it. I tried calling. You're lucky I, I read my text. I, I, I know. What? You ruined the debut, or you stole the thunder of the debut of the Traptor. I was gonna save this for another day. Traptor? That's hey. what we're gonna call it. What did you do? It's a traffic hey, keeper. Uh, do you see the tracks up there? I'm seeing your, yeah, I see some dickhead driving. Oh. <laughs> Today is gonna be a good learning lesson of what not to do. If you're up in the mountains by, by yourself <laughs> in a UTV with stock tires, not snow tires, maybe you shouldn't drive like an asshole. Or how do you know I punched it? Well, because there's dirt and grass literally everywhere. You dug down to there, the bottom. That's a panic rev right there. Yeah, that's a whiskey uh, foot. Oh, no, 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 damn. You went whiskey foot. And I don't know how you rolled. So get your tracker after or we whatever. We got the winch. Truckle Optimus. Watch your mouth. What's it called? The Truckle Optimus Tractor? The Traptor Keeper. Since this is an opportunity for everybody to learn, <clears throat> hands, we're going to show you guys how to winch using snatch blocks and some pulleys because. You think you need a snatch block for this? I don't want to sit there and rope. Dude, if we try pulling you out, we're going to roast your belt. You're pretty, you're pretty stuck. That's a creek right there. This is not just a, like a flat hill. There's rocks buried oh, yeah, in that powder. We got the winch, we got the snatch blocks. There's a chance. People are going to be like, oh, just pull him out. Yeah, maybe that would work, maybe not though. Because if I turn around and just start tugging on him with the rope, all it's going to do is just try to like drag him up the hill sideways. And if he's sitting there hamming on the throttle, the belt's going to blow up because you're just sitting there overheating it. There so, is, I did feel the rocks and stuff. And if you drag me out, yeah. You're what we're going to do is run the winch to a snatch block on that tree. From that tree, we'll run it down to the razor. We'll tip it back up on its feet and then we'll pull him out. No one wants to ask how I'm feeling though. You're just hey, how no. are you feeling? Dave, how's are the you? razor feeling? How's my how's my machine? I think this is a perfect time. Oh, <laughs> All right, uh, powdered donuts. I knew it. Wait, are they powdered donuts? Ah, powdered donuts. That, I, it's not my best, but it wasn't that bad. He kind of nailed it. I just don't want him to know that. <laughs> but I was. They make it. What happened? <laughs> Where are you running right now? Right. My little leverage here today. We're gonna go to that tree using a soft strap, snatch block, and a D ring. We're gonna pull the razor back up on the wheels, and then we'll winch it up to this little draw here. We're using Mother Nature as leverage. So basically, we ran the winch line to a snatch block and a soft strap to that tree. That tree sits directly to the side of the razor, which is gonna allow us to flip it back up on its wheels. I don't wanna try to tip it over in three feet of powder. It's just gonna sit there and fight and completely unnecessary um, by hand. So that's why we're using the winch. So we're gonna to hook to somewhere on the top part of the razor on the cage, flip it back on some wheels and tires, and then drag it through it here. Nice, nice, science! Hey look, I found your goggles, man. Oh my goodness. That is neat. Look, you put too much on your hot dog. This is from Sparks. This, me. Hey, this, this, all Sparks. No, this was brand new last time I saw it. No, 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 Wilbert. Yeah. I was sitting right here and it was brand new. Right here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the Frosty Snowman was sitting in here. Get him out. the other day we were talking about pissing in the snow the census was most people are drillers there was really? there yeah, there was not very many a lot of drillers areas. there was a few but the majority of our guys were drillers and it got me thinking maybe i should call her I think I should call her. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you this and this may be a little personal do you sit down or stand up to wipe no 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 because 
I got to tell, I got I got to be, I, I got I, I a confession to make. Pretty much my whole life I was a stander. I thought that's what we did. Yep. When I turned about 20, somebody somebody mentioned wiping their butt one day and, and they and they talked about doing and sitting down. And I was like, what is wrong with you? You do what? You do, Did you do, I think you brought it up to me. I probably did, because I'm a stander. You still stand? To this day. What? I'm in the presence of standers? In life, I was standing. So somebody told me like, hey man, you're supposed to sit. And I was like, I know. I didn't really know. <laughs> so I tried it. And the first couple times is really uncomfortable, really awkward. You're like leaning against the wall, like in a, it's just, it was, it was a weird deal. But I finally grew up and I grew into sit wiping and that's, that's, that's where I've been. But I graduated from sitting the days. Oh, I don't even have to move. I just sit there. I hit the button. Once you've experienced a bidet, that rush of adrenaline spraying off your b-hole, there's nothing better. You guys know what a bidet is? A bidet is I'm, a toilet with like a, a little nozzle that comes out and sprays your butt clean. My you don't have to use question, any toilet paper. Does it feel like a dog licking what, you though? What, do you, what, do you, what happens when you're done? It sprays you, then does it, it dries happen? you. It has a little blow dryer. You're jet. kidding. It blows your bottom. Hey. And if you want, if you're feeling extra soggy, you take a little dab of, of toilet paper, just go dip, 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 dab it up. You are clean. Well done. I'm impressed. Granted, it wasn't the most complicated recovery, but it was definitely a lot of dead weight in the snow. I promise you, he's a crumb donut fan. Hey. Yeah. Powder, chocolate, or crumb? Uh, crumb. Told you. Cinnamon crumb, if available. Ooh. Powder. No, man. <laughs> That's all my options were this morning was powder. Powdered. Put some respect on the name. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we choose the winner of the 250,000 subscriber giveaway. So yesterday. We hit 250,000 subscribers and we blew right past it. We're now like <laughs> yeah. 260 on climbing. But what we've done, what was your idea? Where's the list? Huh? I have the papers up, but it's not gonna work. We don't Look, have time. just because, yep, yeah, we have time. Just because you flipped. Listen, why do you got a negative attitude? I don't know, but these people tuned in to see a winner. They know, did not tune in to just see your ass you upside gave down me in a creek. big long spiel last night, like, oh, if we put up a video, then everyone, like, as long as Video. It's gonna be a great video. What's we it? have like two hours of sunlight. You're gonna shoot a cool video in two hours. Yes. Yes. Mm, not the what I had yes. planned. So. Here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna improvise. Here we have a list with a bunch of YouTube subscribers. These are people who are subscribed to our channel. We went through the YouTube through our subscriber list and grabbed just random names. We also went to our comment sections of all our old videos and saw people that had been commenting and like interacting with the channel, liking videos and stuff. And we just randomly selected you and put you on this list. Uh, you got guys like Revive Power Sports, Great Troll Holio. You put Great Troll Holio on here? If you got a good name, I'm putting it on. Jesus. That's my that's my fake account. Jesus, Magnum Prime E1. Basically, look, there's the list goes on and on and on. Hey, I subscribed. Did I make the list? No. Rob Bailey was close. Really? really? Yeah, but he wasn't following. So me. what we're gonna do? <laughs> you know what? You know what we could do? Since Hans's original idea isn't gonna work, I got an idea. Is it? Close your eyes. Get your little pointer finger out. No. I haven't agreed to it. Well, yeah, get, no your, hold your, get your little pointer finger out. This is a great idea. This is all perfect. Right. This way, you pay the people back by sacrificing what's most important to you, which right. is yourself. Get I your want this seventh name out. down. Ready? On the list. Ready? Close your eyes. Look up this guy and list in front of you. You are on Devin Terry. Devin Terry. Devin Terry, you are number one, hold numero on. uno Where on the list. Grab number a pen. You got to you got to land on something. Ooh. Camaro drag racing. Oh. Wait, wait, nope, nope. You Two Camaro on, drag racing. So Camaro. close. You were actually on Chandler Godfrey. Yeah. Are we doing Chandler or Camaro drag no, racing? You, 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 were on, you were on Chandler. Yeah, you don't do a redraw. Sorry. Your arm, you can't have your arm move. Okay, let me just see where you're putting the paper. Velocity aircraft. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the bad boy of the group's ready. Did you just refer to yourself as the bad boy of the group? <laughs> or the pretty one? <laughs> hey. Hold on. Bad Is boy. he the bad boy or the pretty one? Neither. <laughs> Put your choose look up. Hold Put on. your finger the on the list. Do bad, bad boy. Do bad boys have mismatched gloves in him? Like Okay. Uh Nick Aldridge. Nick Aldridge, you're welcome. And go. Ooh, William Wellman. William Wellman. What's up? Shout out to you. Boom. Stay. Tate. W. Tate W is number five. <laughs> Straight down. There you go. Just one, right? Ooh. The Schmeter? The Schmeter. The Schmeter. <laughs> I got all the cool names. You are number six. Oh, so he gets all the cool names. I know. Our Grizzle, Grizzle Bear, Bear Gaming. Gaming. Dude, that's a cool name, too. Okay, bad boy of the group. Bad boy of the group's here and ready. <laughs> Straight down. 
Okay, okay. Uh, Tyler Pierce. Tyler Pierce, you're about to pierce the snow and win Ooh, something. Nice. All right. Eight finalists from our list here. Uh, number okay. one, Devin Terry. Number two, oh, Velocity yeah, Aircraft. Number yeah, three, Nick Aldridge. Is number is four good. is William Wellman. Number five, Tate W. Number six, the Schmreeder, SM Reader. Seven, Grizzle Bear Gaming. Eight, Tyler Pierce. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go beat numbers on the hill. Don't do it! It's do not it. worth it! It's not worth it! I did it! Hey, you wanna pick randomly where the numbers go? Nice box. Five. It's gonna be five. And then final box is eight. Hey, subscribe. Click the link wherever it is, or the button, and then help me out. That's a great Holy throw. Holy shiz. I was hoping good. you'd hit him that was a good with throw. his negative that was, attitude. I feel good about that throw. Yeah, that negative attitude. Oh, and I gotta make sure this one's alive. Let's see if the bad boy's got a good arm. The only thing I'm good at. Huh? Let's go, bad boy. Bad boy's got it. Bad boys too! What the shit was that, Alec? What? Shit. <laughs> Why did you do the high speed underarm? That was the worst throw you could have done. You didn't even try. I didn't, because I'm so bad at everything, I don't even want to try. Heart of gold. I hated that. That put me in the worst mood. Guess you are just put me in a bad mood. Not a real bad boy. Look at me. Look at me. This is why I'm a bad boy. Because I'm always getting hurt. That was you're not the bad boy, you're the sad boy. Should I go home? You're the sad boy of the group. Did you guys see that throw? <laughs> he was like warming up and it's like slipped out of his hands. Like, oh. I was in the best no. mood before that. Well, that's a sick shot right there. Oh, are you just taking my drone? I can't wait to see my drone no, in a tree. We saw the way you threw. Yeah, just don't put the throw in there. Just don't do it. But this is the one we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The 250,000 subscriber giveaway. To recap, We've got eight numbers down here on the hillside. Hands is way down there at the bottom, blindfolded on the sportsman with tracks. He's just gonna hammer down just like he is right now, but right now he's obviously can oh. see. And he's gonna come up this hill and whichever number he passes the most through, you're the winner. Let's go! Hands! Go hands! Go hands! Go left! Oh my God! Oh no. Whoa, 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 you got hands, are you all right? What just happened? Hold on, I gotta- oh, You all right, right buddy? Going on this. Oh, it's gonna... Say something, hands! Dude, look at this, look at him, look at him. Are you kidding? What? Hey, you okay? What just happened? Did you get a good shot? Please tell me you got it, dude. dude. He outran me. Do you want to go in sport mode? Yeah, I need to go in sport mode. Are you okay? You tell me! You floated into a tree! <laughs> is he delirious? Are you alright? This is the second crash today. Dude, you almost what? crashed harder than I did throwing that thing. Bro, he... Bro you hit that tree really hard! Yep. You broke it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Round two, I guess? <laughs> Don't yard sell everything! Hey, if you happen to win this contest, I'm just gonna tell you now, I wouldn't pick the sportsman on tracks. At least not that one. so pissed. <laughs> yeah. It won't drive? <laughs> we blindfolded hands, and uh, I, the one tree on the, the, literally the one tree on the hill, he hit going so fast. And it's I think good. the four wheeler's broken. It might be running enough to be able to get the second round, but it's pretty jacked up. I think the whole he, front end is like flopping he, he off. He just moved the whole front end. Dude, he hit that and tree he's not a strong person. hard. <laughs> that was the shot. Good news is I found the drone. <laughs> Bad news is I hit the hill at a pretty high rate of speed. I knew. 
Like new, he said. <laughs> I don't remember the snow in the box like that. <laughs> hey, it flies. Oh, this is your moment, bad boy. Hold on, I'm yeah. not the one that broke the four-wheeler. But you you could be the guy that saves the day, redemption right here. <laughs> this is your you moment. You want to be tumbling off this mountain? This is your moment, right here. Yeah, <laughs> Snapping yeah. my femur. <laughs> I thought you put, put your um, put your <laughs> beanie over your eyes. Oh, God. I just go straight off the edge. <laughs> I'll handle the rest. So uh, I'm gonna update you guys real quick while I'm flying the drone. Hands broke the four-wheeler. It's not gonna work to be able to come up the hill and choose the winner. So the bad boy of the group is gonna blindfold himself. Put your thing over your eyes. I'm going to He's gonna go over the edge, run down the hill as fast as he can, and whichever number he runs through, you're the winner. This is how we have to adapt and overcome, I guess. Okay, three, two, one. Go for it! Just wherever, run! Go away! Go away! Turn around! Turn around. Ah. 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 Number two, you're the winner! Woo! Bad boys are all the same. And we have ourselves a winner. Number two, Velocity Aircraft. Congratulations, you are the winner of our 250,000 subscriber giveaway. You get to come to my shop and pick any of my Polaris or, or uh, Power Sports vehicles that you want. And uh, congratulations. And sorry for the uh, little bit of a that we put on there. Let me move this razor. Absolute chaos. Hands is, hands is over two today. That was, he hit that tree so hard. I didn't even know what happened. I was flying the drone and the drone stopped. So I was like, trying to figure out what was going on with the drone. And I looked and I was like, oh shit, he is like in that tree. He was hauling, he was moving. Obviously the four wheelers destroyed, so. This is, this is a day. This is just a regular day for us. In fact, it's been pretty mellow according to how most days go. So, so far so good. Other than the four wheel that might not make it back down the canyon. Yeah, you're gonna wanna choose a different vehicle. Oh no. Right there is where it died, huh? She cut out. You know, Dunzo, busted, busted, radiator. You would have got hands up this park on the railroad. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this day up before <laughs> anything else happens. I would like to congratulate Velocity Aircraft. Velocity you... Aircraft? Yeah. That was absolutely. my number. Was it? Yeah! No. Yeah. No thanks to Alec because Alec started running uphill before he crossed the line. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Next time, our next give winner giveaway, we'll probably not have hands be in charge. We're gonna let him sit this next one out. I'll just right to roll. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> At full speed, he was gaining speed. Bro. You hit the nitro booster right before you got to the tree. You. The worst part is I hit the tree and I didn't know what to do. I looked up at you guys and thought, maybe they didn't see it. No, no, no. And then I thought like, oh, that's what you I might doing? be able to back out of there without them noticing. Like, look, I don't slow down, I just back straight up. <laughs> like, you I just kept on going on about your business. I was gonna get another run out until it died. Because thinking like, oh, maybe Dave, like, did, doesn't know how hard I hit. We like asked you maybe about 10 times if you were is... okay and you just were silent. So I was like, that guy's concussed. Because I was trying to like, play it cool. Like, oh, that was pretty much kind of an average day up on the mountain for us. Lots of stuff that could go wrong did go wrong. However, lots of things that could go wrong didn't go wrong too. So I'm gonna count that as a win. First time ever running these tracks. I really like them. They did extremely well. The Raptor is like literally the perfect truck for tracks. The weight, the power, the four wheel drive system, the locker, everything is just like dialed. Um, the tracks could be a little wider for a little better flotation, but what they make up for in you know width, they make up for in these big old lugs that just dig. So we didn't even get close to getting that thing stuck. That did really well. However, the four wheeler, on the other hand, later, homie. See, you, buddy. Four wheeler's okay. Four wheeler. Of course it is. Four wheeler will be okay after a little bit of therapy, but uh, he's a little sad right now. My hands took one for the team. Really, really did her there. But four wheeler or the razor, after we tipped it back over on its uh, wheels safe and sound so not gonna lie that's pretty minimal damage considering how hard I mean, the the open the hood bud <laughs> how how hard he hit the tree anyways guys if you like the video if you enjoy the content i need you to do me a couple different favors first of all i need you to comment below whether you're a stander or a sitter uh second i need you to like the video okay because if this video gets twenty thousand likes i won't make hands pay for the damage on 
both of these machines now. And last but not least, we hit 250,000 subscribers. We got ourselves a winner, Velocity Aircraft. Congratulations again. Now, moving on to 500,000. Remember, every 250,000 new subscribers we get, we do another big giveaway. So we're headed there, we're cruising there fast. So I'll do another video soon to show you what vehicles are gonna be up for grabs when we hit 500K. And let's just keep on going, because when we hit 10 million, what are we doing? Giving away a helicopter! helicopter. helicopter I don't know who we were pointing yeah. at right there, but... I just, everybody has a group thing. Hey, also, I need you, I need to know oh, what the verdict is. Is his new name the bad boy? He gave it to himself on the I'm mountain. Bad at everything, and so as I soon as he did it, shit hit the fan. He got really it bad was at a really everything. Bad joke. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Enjoy the show.